welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the three major mistakes writers make that keep them from finishing their manuscripts and how to fix those mistakes. The first one is the belief that perfect is possible. With your book, it's never going to be perfect, unfortunately, as much as we want it to be perfect, as much as we read other books that we think are perfect, there's always stuff that can be improved upon. Perfection isn't possible in life, therefore it's also not possible in your novel. So if you keep working on your book with the idea that one day if you just work hard enough and make it perfect, it'll be ready to go and it'll be a bestseller, that's just never gonna happen. Instead of focusing on perfection, what you need to do is focus on getting your manuscript done. Because in the long run, done is better than perfect. Done is achievable. Done can be monetized. Done can be read by your readers. And perfect cannot because it does not exist. So then the question becomes not how can I make this manuscript perfect, but how can I get this manuscript done? Or how do I know when it's finished and, you know, ready to be released out into the public. So there are some different steps that you should do prior to publishing your book that will allow you to know when your manuscript is done. The first step you need to do is finish your rough draft, obviously, but then make all the corrections that you possibly can. So there's, I mean, rough drafts are terrible, everybody knows that, and every author knows while they're writing that there's stuff you can do to improve your writing while you're doing it. And so after your rough draft, you should do everything you possibly can to fix the plot holes, fix the grammar, fix the word choices. Again, not perfect, just what immediately stands out to you to make it readable to other people. After you do that, you need to ask for feedback. So this should take the form of beta readers in addition to professional editors that know how to edit books and make them more perfect. And then after that, you need to apply the feedback to your writing. And this will just make it a bajillion times better. <laughs> Again, not perfect, but better. And you're actually taking information from people that would want to read your book, so you know it's going to be good changes in your manuscript. After you apply the feedback, you should put your book away for a little while, give yourself some space. This doesn't necessarily have to be like months and months and months unless you need that much amount of time to stay away to, in order to look at your book objectively. Some people can do this after a few days, other people need a lot more time than that. So um, take a step away from your writing so that you can look at it again with fresh eyes. And once you get to that point, you make another list of revisions, and after that, I think it's pretty safe to say that your book is done. You've revised it once, you've given it to other people, you've applied their changes, you've put it away, you've taken it back, and you've revised again. So that's pretty thorough, and at that point, I think it would be safe to assume that your book is done and ready for publishing or submitting to an agent. The second mistake that writers make in regards to trying to finish their novels is this concept that you have later, that you can do it later, that you don't have to do it right now. And the problem with that is that later doesn't actually exist. This is a problem that I had a lot when I was first starting out with my writing before I decided I wanted to take it seriously. And uh, you know, it just, it seemed like I had things that were more important to me even though inside I didn't I didn't find them as fulfilling and they didn't they didn't make me as happy as writing makes me. You have to quit telling yourself that you can finish this some other time. Obviously there's some extenuating circumstances that you know this wouldn't apply to, but for most people it's an excuse. I, I think ultimately it kind of stems from like a fear of finishing. That sounds silly because it's like something we all want, but it can be intimidating too to have this piece of work that's your heart and soul poured out onto the page that other people can read. That's a little bit of a scary thing. But there really, there is no ideal time to write. Everyone has 24 hours. Bestsellers have 24 hours. People that publish six books a year have 24 hours in a day, just like we do. And it doesn't change for anybody. The so later isn't an excuse for not finishing. You need to make time to write your novel, and this is the part that can be different for everyone. 
Even though everyone has 24 hours, the writing time that everyone can have is different. But as long as you make that writing time happen, even if it's only 15 minutes a day, even if it's five minutes in the morning when you wake up, if you keep going with that five minutes, you will finish. You won't finish quickly, but you will finish eventually. And that is what you really need to do if you want to become a full-time author and make money off of, or make a living off of your books. You have to figure out what your priorities are and if writing is really a priority for you, you will make time for it. If it's not a priority for you, then it's going to get pushed to the side. So you just have to, you have to decide how much you want it and organize your time according to that. The third mistake that a lot of authors make that keep them from finishing their books is the fear that their book or their novel is not important. And this is just simply not true. <laughs> People will care about your book when it's out there. Readers are always hungry for more books and there are readers that read the types of books that you are writing and if it's out there, they will want to read it as long as it's been edited and, you know, is good writing, which can be done. It is achievable. I know some people get worried that their idea isn't original enough or they feel like it's already been done, but the truth of the matter is, is that only you can tell your story the way you can tell it. No one else will be able to write a book that is exactly the same as yours, even if it has the same premise. You have a different voice. You have different life experiences, you have an entirely different inner author person that than anyone else. And because of that, even if you write the same story, it's going to sound different, it's going to read different, the characters are going to relate to readers differently. It will have uniqueness and originality because you are a unique and individual person. <laughs> now one way to get over this fear is to start encouraging yourself. I know as a writer community, a lot of us are very encouraging to each other, but we're not so encouraging to ourselves. And that's a really detrimental mindset to be in because you are with yourself the most. You talk to yourself in your mind the most. So if you have this inner monologue going that says, oh, my writing sucks, oh, I'm not good enough, oh, no one's gonna care what I have to say, you're not gonna finish because you're constantly putting yourself down. You have to treat yourself as if you were another author that you are really excited to help finish their book. Because when we encourage each other, we be like, oh, that's a good idea, or we give each other constructive criticism. We don't go, oh, that book sucks, like you're never gonna make it. But that's how we talk to ourselves a lot of times. And because we're always with ourselves, that hinders us from finishing our books. That's another thing I personally had to change in my life. And when I did, that's when I finally finished my novel. When I thought that my story was important enough to get out there, that's when I started finishing my rough draft. It really makes such a huge difference. And um, I can't emphasize enough how much this will change your writing life. Another thing you can do too is if you just don't have the confidence in yourself to kind of give yourself this self-talk every day is to join online writing communities because we are full of encouragement out there. We're on Instagram, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're everywhere. And you can definitely find a group of people that will help encourage you. And it's important because writing is very difficult and because not a lot of us are getting paid, it can be difficult to show up for it every day and to continue to write all the time. So it's important to get plugged into a writing community so that you have this constant positive energy coming towards you and your writing. So that's all I have for today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the like button. And if you would like to receive weekly updates on how to start, write, and publish your novel, go ahead and subscribe. I post new videos every Friday. If you have any questions for me, you can leave them down in the comments below or find me on one of my social media links listed in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, bye.